Is he inside? Yes, sir. We have a meeting scheduled. He's expecting you. Mr. President, we need to brief you on Dictator Raphael. <laughs> Things are starting to get serious. No problem. Why don't you join us for some tea? Sorry, boys. I promised my daughter we could have a tea party. I'm all about multitasking. Have a seat. You think there's enough tea for Daddy's friends? Of course. But only if they wear the magic hats. Mm -hmm. You will need to wear one of these. <laughs> Mr. President. Really? You heard the lady? Okay. <laughs> Dictator Raphael is posing quite a problem. What kind of tea would you like? We'll have whatever the president's having. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, Dictator Raphael is moving artillery toward the board. Do you like my tea? <clears throat> yes, that's good tea. 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 <laughs> so, tell me about Raphael. Sir, we are concerned that he's planning to attack our allies. They are a much smaller country. They won't be able to stand up to him. He sounds like a bully to me. If he's being bad, Daddy, you need to give him a timeout. Olivia's right. Let's give him a timeout. How about we take him out? Mm. You give a nod, it's done. He'll be gone before we get to dessert. <laughs> <laughs> no. Invite him to the White House for dinner instead. That will be his timeout. You're gonna have dinner with a bully? Yes, sweetheart. But let me explain. <laughs> Daddy's gonna tell him why being a bully is a really bad thing. Okay. But it sounds like I'm going to need a whole lot more tea. Uh. Thank you. Mr. President, here are the freshly baked chocolate chip cookies you requested. So if you continue to eat like this, you'll end up being the president and the vice president. Don't worry, Bernard. I'm working out every day. Mm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, first lady won't like it when she finds out. When I find out what? Well, I can't stop eating chocolate chip cookies. I knew that after our second date. Mm -hmm. I thought that you and I might have a private dinner this Saturday. Just the two of us. No kids, no dignitaries, no friends. No fun. No butler. No kidding. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. It's a date. It's a date. Mm. Like <laughs> Mr. President, would you like me to put Saturday with the wife on your calendar? Yes, Bernard, let's make it official. Saturday is our 20th wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations, sir. Thank you. She obviously thinks I forgot. Ah, yes, that can get you into trouble. Would you like me to arrange something special for Saturday evening? <sighs> I'm not sure yet. Let me think about it for a bit. What are you doing? Letting you think about it for a bit. I'm good. I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Dad, this place is crazy huge. I mean, we went from living in a shoebox to one of the biggest mansions in the world. I still can't find my way around here. Don't worry about it, son. You'll get used to it. Use a GPS if you need to. <laughs> This place is like a prison. What prisons have butlers? <laughs> Tell us, what is it that you want to do that you can't because he's the big kahuna? I guess we want to do something or anything without you or anyone else knowing about it. Yeah, we want to keep secrets from our parents like every other kid in America does. You can keep a secret from me if you want. They're not secrets, Dad, if Secret Service keeps telling you what they are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do what you gotta do, and don't tell us. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thanks, Thanks, dude. dude. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Don't worry about it. I will always know what's going on. He hit me! He hit me! And it hurt! Did you know that was going on? <laughs> Cupcake, 
you two have to solve your own problems without me constantly being the referee. Understand? I understand. I have to solve my own problems. That's right. Good job. Play nice. You handled that really well. Nicely done. Thanks. Ow! She hit me, and she said you, Turner, is okay. I solved the problem myself, just like you said I should. Okay. So what have we learned here? You hit her, and it hurt. You hit him back, and it hurt too. Now you're both in pain, you're both sad, and you've accomplished nothing, right? Right. And most importantly, remember, your mother and I can ground both of you for the rest of your lives if we want to, right? <laughs> you wouldn't do that, would you? <laughs> And you know Pauletta is better. Pauletta! Auntie Pauletta! Daddy's gonna ground us for life. Oh, no. He wouldn't do that because then he'd have me to deal with. And president or no president, trust me, he wouldn't want to go there. <laughs> he might have the largest army in the world, but I got a mean left hook. <laughs> you don't want none of this. And I'm mad at you. You still haven't called me yet. <laughs> Come on, kids. Let Auntie Paul let her read your bedtime story. Love you, sis. Love you, too. What about me? What about you? <laughs> uh -huh. So what are your plans for today, sis? I was thinking about redecorating the White House. Yes. Because your taste is exquisite. <laughs> Thank you, Bernard. <laughs> kind of drabby around here, don't you think? I don't. And if we want to redecorate, Catherine and I will do that. Your job is to help look after the kids. If you ever figure out how to get around to that. <laughs> don't think I'm impressed just because you're the president. <laughs> to me, you'll always just be that ingrate that stole my baby sister. You know she hasn't been home for Christmas since the first day she met your trifling boy, Call bro. Corny. He's the president of the United States. So what? I didn't vote for him. Um, you didn't vote for who? You heard me. Your son. You didn't vote for my son? That's because the last person you voted for was Abe Lincoln. You don't start. That had voted for you. Listen here, my son is so great. We need to change the laws and make him king. Yes, king. Forget that for your thing. They should proclaim you king for life, your majesty. Up with her head. Thanks, Mom. It's all right, baby. We were just in the neighborhood. We thought we'd stop by see you, Captain, and the kids. <laughs> you want to go bowling? You know, uh, do a little fishing. Bowling? Fishing? You did notice that he's got a job, right? I notice every time I see you, you get uglier. <laughs> yeah. Stop, please. As a matter of fact, I'm going to dress up just like you on Halloween. Boom! <laughs> How much cologne is that you wear? Formaldehyde? I'll have you to know this cologne cost me $5 a gallon. It smells like it, too. <laughs> Just meet me out We're on the South Lawn. We can take it out there right now. I wish I had a pie. I would smash it in your face right yeah, now. Yeah, go ahead, try it. I'll show you better not to tell you. What do you like? What? What do you like? Cherry? Blueberry? Lemon meringue? Are you anybody scared of you? Hey! Everybody needs to calm down. We're all family here. We should all get along. Mom is right. We can have our differences, but we need to learn to love and respect each other. Oh, give it a rest. Save all that mumbo jumbo for the State of the Union. <laughs> this is crazy. We've been married for 20 years. When are the two of you going to stop arguing? At her funeral. <laughs> what are you doing in two weeks? Mr. President, how was the foreign affairs speech I wrote for you? Oh, still haven't had a chance to look at it yet. I still have to do that as well as come up with something for my 20th wedding anniversary. Ah, let me know if there's anything I can do to help, Mr. President. Will do. Thank you, John. Dad, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, what's up? There's this kid at school causing trouble and I'm not sure what to do about it. What kind of trouble? He's constantly beating up on the little kids. Sounds like another bully problem. Don't worry, it's going around. <laughs> so what do you want to do about it? I want to punch him out, like, oh, oh, oh. Hey, all 
Okay, calm down, Bruce Lee. So, what am I supposed to do, just turn the other cheek? No, no, I've never been a fan of that solution. If we just watch and do nothing, eventually the bully might gain so much power, you won't be able to do anything. So I should just knock him out then. Oh, uh, no, son, no, listen to me. Violence is always a last resort. Why don't you try talking to him? You do that right, it'll be 10 times more effective. Or you can just point out the heavily armed Secret Service agents who are following you. Bernard. Or tell him if he's not careful, you'll have his parents audited by the IRS. Now that'll do the trick. Bernard. I know, get out. I get it, Dad. You don't have to use your power, just remind him that it's there. Exactly! Hey. Is that? Dad! Okay, kids, remember, we need you to be on your best behavior tonight. We're always on our best behavior. Mr. President, Supreme Leader Presidente Rafael. Very nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late, but three people outside asked me to park their car. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, you should be. You know, parking is very tight around here. I had to really squeeze them in, but luckily, I have skills. <laughs> Mr. Raphael, this is my lovely wife, Catherine, and my family. Ay, Dios mío. <gasps> it's a custom in my country. Wow. Daddy, this is my favorite clown. Oh, yes. Do you, do you know Elmo? Oh, Elmo. Elmo. Short guy, big eyes. I don't know him. Honey, he's the president of his own country. There's a country of clowns? I want to move there. <laughs> Mr. President, thank you for this wonderful meal. But please, can we talk about why I am here? To park cars? <laughs> no. My military intelligence tells me that you think that I'm a bully. I am not a bully just because I want to attack my neighboring country. I see. Olivia, why is it a bad idea to attack someone? Because if you hit us, it will hurt, and if we hit you back, it will also hurt. Then we'll both be sad and in pain, and we'll have accomplished nothing. Hmm, very well said. But you don't understand. It's so boring now that there's nothing to do. I already have an army waiting, and... Why does the United States care? Why do you have to get involved in our own little war? Charles, would you like to answer that one? Well, because you're a bully, and that's a bad thing. And if we just stand by and watch, pretty soon you'll be bullying everyone. The bottom line is, no one has the right to tell anyone how they must live. Not even you. But what can you do to stop me? I'm El Supremo. Yeah. Generals, would you like to answer that one? Certainly. We've been begging our president to let us blow you up. No, 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 hold, hold on, hold on. I had an Stephanie. I'm going to call my military back to my borders. We're going to mind our own business. There's no need for violence. Why don't we all just get along in peace and harmony like, like somebody said we should do? That is great to hear. Yeah, yes, it is. To make it official, let's have a toast. To living in peace and harmony. With good parking. It yes. Now we need to spend more time like this alone. Really? Are you sure you haven't forgotten anything? You might want to think back to the time that we tied the knot. You know, that's kind of an important date in our history, don't you think? Oh, no. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I don't know what to say. If you were talking to Congress, you would babble on and on, but with me, you don't know what to say? Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Big Shot President. The state of this union is on thin ice right now, bucko. Oh, my. You haven't called me bucko since I accidentally broke your favorite vase. Boss, vase. Boss. Not good. You got that right. <laughs> Let me make it up to you, sweetheart. Could you open that drawer, please? Open the drawer? What does opening the drawer have to do with you making it up to me? If you could, please. If I could? Well, then you know I can. I'm standing right by it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't forget. Oh. oh, honey. Oh, this is beautiful. 
beautiful. How could I forget the best day of my life? <laughs> this is us on our first date. Huh? <laughs> oh, how romantic is this? Baby, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, you are the love of my life. And I am who I am today because of you. We were meant for each other, and I will cherish our love with all of my heart forever. Thank you for the beautiful blessings of our children and the wonderful life that we are creating together. I absolutely adore you, Catherine, and will for all eternity. Your loving husband, William. <laughs> oh, baby, this is the most beautiful thing you've ever written to me. I'm going to go to our bedroom. I want you to meet me there in five minutes. You had a surprise for me? And I've got one for you, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I uh, left my watch in the family room. Could you grab it on your way, please? And don't keep me waiting, Mr. President. So how'd I do? Did she like the card I wrote? She loved it. Yes. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome, Paco. I mean, Mr. President. I wanted to have an anniversary party, and I thought it would be fun to surprise you. Yeah. Surprise! Thank you. Oh, my God, your mother's here. Evie! I can't believe you came all the way from Detroit to celebrate our 20th wedding anniversary. I am so touched. Don't get it twisted, baby. I did not come from Detroit to celebrate your anniversary. I came for the free food. Now, where is it? Celery? Carrot? Do I look like a rabbit? <laughs> Lovely. Besides, 20 years is no big deal. I was married to my husband over 60 years. Amen. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. That's right. That's okay. And child, he rocked my world to the very end. Oh. That's even after he had two hip replacements. Oh. As a matter of fact, he was even better after he got new hips. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's too much information. What you talking about? I'm talking about dancing. Oh. <laughs> if Moses had seen how ugly you are, we would have 11 commandments. <laughs> have a warm and fuzzy evening at the White House. Mr. President, I want to thank you for 20 amazing years. You are the love of my life. And this card you gave me was so touching. It was nice, huh? Mm-hmm. But the next time you do that, I'm going to have to marry John, your speechwriter. <laughs> Surprise. Oh, Boston. Yeah, bucko. 